Oh my god, maybe I added too much. Oh my god. Hello, my beautiful darlings. Today is going to be installment number three. The foundation wear test slash decluttering series. I'm going to use a little bit different of a moisturizer today. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And I always tell you girls, but you need to make sure that you are using your lotion on the backs of your hands because I don't know if you remember that video like of all the Hollywood people who've had like all this face work done then they didn't take care of the backs of their hands and so it looked like the Crypt Keeper like touching their face. So today, when well, that's setting in, I'm going to be using the Alme Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup. And I got mine in 200 pale, mm -hmm. light medium. Okay. And this is a, has SPF 15 already in it. It is a broad spectrum and it says blend to reveal color. So I see the first ingredient is the titanium dioxide and zinc, which I think are the SPF. I think with some of these, you have to blend with your hands to get the color to show up correctly. I don't know if you can use a brush with these. It doesn't say anything on the bottle, like how to use or recommendations. All right, this bad boy retails for $6, and I'm going to go ahead and read you the product details. Meet the intuitive foundation that adjusts to match your skin tone. It helps minimize the look of lines, protects with SPF 20, which on here it says 15. Okay. Our anti-aging foundation doesn't just make lines less of a bother by helping to minimize their appearance, but it makes matching your foundation shade to your face extraordinarily simple. The lightweight foundation starts out white and instantly transforms to your ideal foundation shade, seeming to become one with your skin as you smooth it on. To achieve this, our Tone Mimic technology uses tiny spheres that break open and release pigment as you blend them over your skin. The buildable texture of this medium coverage foundation allows you to choose the exact level of natural looking shriek free color you desire. We're looking out for your skin. Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone Matching Makeup has an SPF of 20 broad spectrum protection. As always, dermatologist tested, hyperallergenic, fragrance free, and cruelty free available in six tone adjusting shades say anything instructions use your fingers to simply dot on and blend smart shade anti-aging skin tone matching foundation onto your skin for a natural looking or a fresh finish that's the ideal shade for your skin tone it's that easy it's that easy to use makeup artist tip place the dots in the center of your face and blend outward toward the edges for a smoother finish. So usually I do like half with like primer and all of that good stuff and then half with powder. But since this one is a different kind of makeup and I need to apply it with my fingertips and it's supposed to blend in, I'm not gonna put anything other than my moisturizer as a barrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it the way that it's said. So it says it starts out white and it has these little spheres. I don't know if you can see that. Let me flip the camera. Okay. So it said to dot towards the middle of your face and then blend outward. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh my. <laughs> and, and my son starts playing like the ominous music in the background. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm blending, which I hate touching my face, so this is hard for me. Okay, let's see. You'll really be able to see here on all those age spots and stuff. It's like covering them. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like, well, it says it's buildable. Well, it's not white anymore. And I can feel like the grittiness of those um, 
little spheres it's talking about. I'm gonna add some more, like where I would normally add more. Oh my God, maybe I added too much. Oh my God. Okay, calm down, okay. It's only makeup. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I don't like how, I mean, okay, so like, it said medium coverage, but I, I'm not a little bit more. I'm probably going to regret this decision. It feels nice on the skin. I will give it that. All right, so I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup, um, like eyeshadow and like my brows and stuff. I'm gonna do light makeup today because I'm going to go get my um, extensions filled because like I literally just have eyeshadows, like two eyelashes, I mean, on the middle of my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and you can stay tuned for that or you can skip ahead to the check-in. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Okay, so you missed the part where I had to end up wiping off the um, cut crease because I was going to go ahead and do a cut crease look and then I decided to wipe it all off because if I'm getting my lashes on, I don't want anything in the way because I don't know if last time it's because I had some kind of makeup residue or something on my eye because they did not stick at all. So I don't want to have any makeup on. So that explains that. Anyway, back to the foundation. Um, I really like it. This is, I'm standing over by the window. Oh. And it looks really nice and natural. Mm. Looks good. Mm. It's not as much coverage as I'd like. You can still see my scars. And a lot of my age spots and stuff. But I think it looks more like skin than the other foundations did. Mm. Wait, I'm going to step outside in a full light so you can take a look at it there. So well, this is outside. It's not a super sunny day, but you can see um, how more of my freckles show in the sunlight. And they're not really super covered. But I feel like it looks nice and it doesn't look cakey. And I think I need to find that balance of whether I'm worried about covering everything up or whether I want my face to look like cake batter. Okay, the sun's out for like two seconds, so I want to come out in the sunlight. All right, we're three hours in and this is how we're looking and uh she did put tape under my eye across the bridge of my nose and under my other eye while she was doing my lashes which turned out amazing this time she's a different taping method because my eyes watered so bad last time and they just they're so much better this time so much better i love them so if you can't i don't know if you can hear this it's like really windy out i might have to do a voice voiceover but yeah, um, it's looking really good, really natural. Um, really, really like this. Um, it's more like natural skin, but better. Um, I do want to try out again tomorrow just because I want to use it with like contour and everything on top that I would normally do. Since I was getting my lashes done, I didn't wear, you know, the eye makeup or bother with anything else because I knew she was going to be taping me. And I want to do a full wear test without the tape. So yeah, so I'll check in a little bit later so you can see how it's looking and I'll catch you then. Six hour check-in. I feel like I don't have any foundation on at all. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, I think it looks very, just much like skin. I'm just kind of anxious to see like when I go to wipe it off tonight, like how much makeup is actually on. Cause it feels like nothing is there. It doesn't look very settled. I feel like it's as close to natural skin. I mean, it's definitely not a full coverage, but it's pretty natural looking. Or I'll check in right before bedtime. Hello, we are at hour nine. 
And this is how we're looking. I'd say pretty natural and not really like makeup at all. Um, let's see what wipes off. Okay. Yeah. I'd say <laughs> this is like the most um, no makeup makeup foundation so far. I mean, you can see that it's there. It just uh, looks more natural than a lot of the other ones did. I mean, there's a lot coming off. Like I said, this is hour nine. I mean, so there's definitely, there was makeup there. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed so far. I think, you know, I'm going to try it again tomorrow, like I said, with the contour and everything, and I'll keep you guys posted. See ya. Take 900 of trying to do this voiceover without a bunch of noise from everyone in this house, so bear with me. I was not awake this morning, so I decided to do a voiceover, and I started with coffee, some e.l.f. hydration, and then the Almay foundation like I did yesterday. Then I went ahead and did something a little different than yesterday and decided to go ahead and put on all my makeup like I normally would, which is like contour, um, concealer, powder, all the stuff, and see how I like it with other makeup layered on top of it. doing a check-in it definitely looks more makeup today but th I think that's because I did put a little bit of powder on and contour and all the stuff I think I still li really like it though it looks so much better more natural than the other foundations I've tried and um, this is I don't know if I told you this four hour check-in so um yeah we'll check in again a little bit later hey guys wanted to do a quick update outdoors this is at nine and a half hours. And this is what we're looking like outside. Actually the eyeshadow, the Jeffree Star eyeshadow kind of creased in there, but I didn't use any primer today, eyeshadow primer. So um, that's what we're looking like with that. And I'll do an upside, um, <laughs> I'll do an update later indoors and show you how we're looking with the foundation. But so far, I think it's a, it's a win for me. Hello, my good people. We are looking at hour 12, I'm a little bit giddy. Don't mind all the glitter kind of, it, I don't care what the brand of glitter, it's always going to end up down here by the end of the day. But we're looking um, really good on the foundation, a couple of areas, seriously going to drink out of the toilet when I'm trying to film. <laughs> Harley! Alright, anyway, like I was saying, I think it's looking really good. So this will be the first one out of the series so far that I ended up keeping. I'm really happy with it. So I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace out.